I'm just wearing a plain old t-shirt so you can kind of see what I mean when I say it's easy like quick easy clean look to wear around the house um well yeah. hi you guys and welcome back to my channel sorry I just felt the need to do the shoulder shrug <laughs> yeah calvin fever will do that to you but hi guys welcome back to my channel basically bali um today i'm gonna do something a little different i haven't ever done a makeup tutorial but today is the day today's gonna be my first attempt so bear with me guys i hope this video goes the way i envision in my head um but you gotta start somewhere right so today i'm gonna be doing a no foundation makeup look which is what we're wearing today um yeah i haven't had a knack for foundation lately although i keep picking up foundation i just recently bought the fenty i'm sorry not the fenty the what's it called da, 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 the dose of color meet your hue foundation because it wasn't sold for 50 percent off so i couldn't pass on that i figured it'll come in handy but yes um as i was saying lately i haven't had a knack for wearing foundation um because i'm indoors it gets warm i don't want to feel like I don't want something feeling cakey on my face. I like for my face to feel like it can breathe. So my Sephora powder just gives me the right amount of coverage without the cakiness. So that's kind of been my go-to the past couple of months is um, the no foundation look. And yeah, so if you guys want to learn how I use my no foundation look or how I use my Sephora powder, I should say, to achieve this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're ready. Um, as you can see, face is bare. Um, so we're going to jump right into this video. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a quick 15-minute tutorial on how I do my no foundation look. So I'm kind of going to monitor myself. I'm not going to set the timer because I think that's just going to give me anxiety. But I will keep my eyes on the clock just so we don't go over 15 minutes. So ready? Let's go. All right, so the first thing I do is I grab my concealer, um, and in this case, I'll be using my NARS, I think it's called the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. Um, and I've been asked to do this. Focus. There we go. All right, but in all seriousness, um, let's do it. So I'll grab my concealer, and I've got a mirror over here, so I'll kind of be looking in this mirror and this mirror, uh, depending on what angle I want to cover so I go in a little bit heavy-handed with the concealer because I do have some heavy bags and then I of course go in the center of my head and down the bridge of my nose so can you guys see that um, you can see maybe if I back up a little bit then you can see it better so yeah there we go and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in um, Dirty Beauty Blend Up, because that's how we roll. Does anybody got time to be washing your sponges every day? Um, so like I said, this is really not a big deal. Just blend, and it doesn't have to be all the way blended, because honestly, the powder is really going to pull everything together. Like, as you guys can kind of see a little bit. Uh, let's go. And I tend to do this um, whenever I'm home and I wear makeup. Of course, this is not your look that you do when you have like a nice Owambe or you're a wedding guest uh, where you need to go the extra step. So again, for I'm just home chilling, but I want to look like I'm actually, or at least I took a bath. Um, so that's that. And then the next thing I do is I'm going to set that. So I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to use the same sponge to set that concealer. And I think the reason you set and honestly, you don't even have to set it depending on how quickly I'm really trying to move. Sometimes I don't even bother setting it and I just go straight in. But I like that a little bit of a brightening effect under my eyes. So that's why I do this. So I grab my sponge. So we're looking a little crazy right now, but it's going to come together, I promise. Uh, so yeah, looking a little ashy, a little white. 
but that's the beauty of makeup. It'll all come together. And then I grab my contour palette from Tarte and I just go straight. There's literally only one shade in this entire palette that I have been using and I'm probably gonna use. So once I finish with this, this is probably gonna be useless. But I especially just love this because this is like the perfect um, shade for me to set my, or at least create a contour. So with this one, I want a little bit closer look. Y'all should see how crazy I look from this close up. But anyway, I kind of go from where your hairline starts um, around your earlobe and I bring it all the way into the side of my face like that. Okay, so let's, and I go very light-handed because this, this shade is really dark. I don't want to look like I put black on my face literally. So I go a little heavy, a little light-handed with this one. Okay, and literally I just use this for the contour because it's so dark. Uh, so can you guys see that? All right, and then the next thing is I grab my actual bronzer, which is my Fenty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami. And then I kind of layer that to really bronze my face. And then of course you gotta go for your temples. And gotta hit the forehead. <laughs> Somebody got a little carried away, but not to worry. Can you guys see like literally color? So I'm gonna try to <laughs> blend that in because yeah, you don't want to look too crazy. Calm down, Bali. Calm down, sister. Okay, so and then I'm gonna grab one of my eyeshadow brushes. Doesn't matter which one, just one that's small enough because I gotta get the nose. And then I'm gonna control my nose. So I want y'all to see the before and after before I go with my nose contour. Because we want a nice slim nose. Especially if you're pregnant. Not to throw any shade, but yeah, sometimes that nose spreads. So we gotta get it in shape. So I'm still watching the clock. We started at exactly 6.30. It is 6.33. So we've got 12 more minutes to pull all this together. Because seriously, y'all, this really takes like 15 minutes so another trick i like to do um involves my laura mercier powder i like to kind of i don't want it to just be like mm. so i like to like cut my contour line so i take my beauty blender again and then you can just go and create a straight line like that Gonna be looking in this mirror too far up, but we can make it work like that. Okay, and then you can just—I just blend it in with the sponge. So I don't know if you guys can. Well, I guess at some point maybe you'll see it. So now this is where the magic happens. Da, 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 da. All right, so going in with. The Sephora powder, I'm gonna bring this face all the way together. So I usually start with my under eye. I mean, there's nowhere to start really, but it's just been a practice now. I just kind of hit the under eye first before anywhere else on my face. <sighs> the joy, the joy I get from wearing makeup. Okay. I kind of make sure I blend that harsh line. So you see how the face is already looking pretty flawless. And then you wanna kinda of get right under your chin, just so you don't have like a big contrast of like smooth face and then neckline. So you gotta hit all that. That's about how much powder I need, honestly. So pretty good. I would say. Then now the brow. Okay. So I'm gonna go a little closer because I wanna I could probably use this now. Let me stick with my mirror. I need to be not too much, just 
I'm good with a nice feeling. The brow. That'll do. And you can see the difference. Brow. No brow. Okay. Let's get the other side. Sometimes I wonder if I could really do the microblading just so I don't have to deal with the whole brow thing. Because this is like my least favorite thing about doing makeup. Oh, I hate doing eyebrows. I don't know, something about eyebrows just, yeah, can be bothered. But without brows, your face just doesn't look all the way. So y'all can see the difference. We are moving on. Okay, so next up, I am going to hit my blush. Now, I have a number blush. I just recently picked up this blush kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I feel like this shade will be perfect in the winter, um, but because we're in the spring, I'm going to do the lighter shades. So, here we go. I'm going to just dab, 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 dab. And then I always like do like my fake line, fake smile, and then go in with my blush. Can y'all see that? Yep, blush, blush. Um, sometimes you could probably kind of pull it out. So yeah, that's about it. Ooh, eight minutes now. All right, let's keep it moving, people. Um, and then we haven't gone to the glow powder yet. That's the start of the show. So for my eyeshadow, I don't really do too much, honestly. And because, as I mentioned, we're going to wear purple lip today. When you do like a bright lip, purple, red is still kind of a little bit flexible, especially purple. You have to kind of be a little bit bland with the shadow because then you don't want something contrasting. Contr well, I guess it will be a contrast. You don't want too much going on with the face. Is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Because the, the lips is just screaming, look at me, look at me. So you don't want too much going on. You don't want to look like... Yeah, so that's... I don't know if you guys can see a difference. Um, I'm just using this light, I guess. I don't know. Whatever that shade is, mauvey brown. Mm. Um, that's how we're going to use for the shadow. And then what I can do is probably grab this darkest brown in this row and just darken the outer corner a little bit. Just a tad bit. And then I bring it downwards. And then same thing for the other eye. And then, like I said, bring it down. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. All right, so we've got five more minutes, y'all. Five more minutes. Um, let's go ahead and do the glow powder. So you guys can see how the face already kind of has that nice airbrush look. I'm a strong believer in this glow powder, y'all. Like, mm -mm -mm. So I just, well, I had a little bit on the top, so I'm just tapping off the excess. And I want you guys to kind of witness. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then I'll go in on my forehead as well. Can you guys see that right there? You can see the light coming out. So I go a little bit on my forehead. And that's kind of how I use my glow powder. Then, of course, hit the cheekbones and drag it up. So this can honestly just serve as your highlighter <clears throat> if you're really not trying to do a whole lot with highlighter. So, for example, you're going to the office, you're just going to work, it's daytime, you don't want to feel like you're wearing makeup, but you still want to, you don't want to compromise on your glow. And what I do is I bring it a little bit under my eyes because I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit awake. So yeah, 
Um, that's about how much I would use as far as the glow powder and I don't really use a whole lot. Again, center of the nose, forehead, cheekbones. That's how I use my glow powder. So then I just go grab another powder brush that has no products on it. And I kind of just sweep this all over my entire face just to kind of blend everything out evenly. Um, we're going to do lashes just to bring everything together. Uh, as far as lashes, I usually prefer to kind of comb my lashes with an almost empty mascara because I don't like one with a heavy coat because then it has a lot of build up and lashes has a hard time sticking. So I prefer my mascara to be almost dry just to kind of use the wand as a comb. Essentially is what I'm doing, just combing the lashes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat the lashes with blue. So I've used this lash like a couple of times. I buy it from Target and it is the Ardell 113, which looks like this. It comes in a five pack. So again, Adele 113 lash. And it works. I like it because it's not too dramatic. It's perfect for like, um, I'm home, I'm just going to work. It's not a going to a shindig lash because we don't need it too dramatic. Just something slight work, slight work. So while that dries, um, that's pretty much all we have left to do. And as you guys can see, if I come a little close, you see the glow. Um, step back some. Anyway, let's just wrap up and then I can pull you guys in a little closer. I think. Lashes might be good to go now. Oh, we've got two more minutes. So for this one, I need to come a little closer to the mirror. So y'all give me one second. I'll be right back. Come on, Lash. Don't fail me today. We are on a time crunch here. Okay, this Lash wants to fail me today, not today, Satan. Um, Okay, let me try a different mirror. Maybe that'll work. I'm not straining my back. Okay, well, I'll take that. Let's get the other one on. Okay, that one didn't do too bad. Oh, maybe it did. Guess I gotta hold it in place. Don't be too much in a rush, Bali. Get it together. Get it right. Okay. All right, y'all. Lashes are still a little crazy, but we gonna fix it. Um, the trick to lashes, I should tell you, is once you get it on, aligned how you want it. You want to go ahead and pinch it into your own real lash so it's nicely blended in. Oof, I almost broke my eyeball there. Ooh. All right, let's try the other eye. Ooh, child. Okay, well, this is as good as it's gonna get. 
do we have to wrap up this video we're literally at 16 minutes into it so now two more things and we are finito let me go ahead and line my eyes with a black liner if i can find it come on okay here we go so this is uh, just a black liner anyone will do but i'm using my dose of colors and i'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes line my eyes Can y'all see the difference? Lined eyes, unlined eyes. Okay. And another trick with lashes that I must share with you guys is once you get your lashes on, you want to go ahead and use like a felt tip liner and kind of create an eye a line starting from your inner corner because that will make your lash even more blended so do you see what i mean you see how i've lined this one so you don't really see where the lash starts and this one is unlined so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the other eye So now do you see what we're working with? Um, it makes you... Let me tell you, this is not the best work I've done with my lashes. This one lash today just wants to fail me, but the show must continue. So yeah, here we go. And this one's a bit too far behind. But, you know, this is the reality. Not every day you get it right but today's a struggle but that's not the point of today's video so our final step is the lips and as i was telling you guys earlier my favorite lip color is purple this is my lips and the reason the lip liner is important is because it kind of lets you know where you can't cross over with your application. So it kind of almost gives you like that don't color outside the box guide. Um, and the purple shade we're going to be using today is my favorite, which is the Melted Matte by Too Faced. I've got another purple by Dose of Color. Mm. Which one do you think, guys? Mm. Mm. Let's push the button a little bit and we go with the bright, true purple lip. <laughs> wow. Eh. What do you guys think? Too bright? Mm. No, this is purple in every sense of it. Even I'm a little shook it. Um, yeah. This is the purple I had. All right, y'all. So I have lined my lips now with um, Heroin by MAC. And we're going to go in with my favorite lip of all time. And this is Unicorn by Too Faced. Love, love, love. And one trick I've picked up with Unicorn, or any bright purple lip for that matter. <laughs> is that it really, really looks beautiful with a light color t-shirt. Um, so white has been my favorite. So anytime I plan on wearing unicorn as my lip color, I have to wear white. Um, so if you guys haven't picked that up, but just my trick, my little trick. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Um, so that's my trick is whenever I wear purple, 
I keep my outfit light because I don't want too much going on because I feel like my face is saying a whole lot. My lips particularly are screaming, look at me. So I don't want anything else um, drawing from that attention. So this is it guys. Um, this last step is optional. You don't have to because right now, I don't know if you guys can see, my face doesn't look cakey. It just looks smooth. But for the sake of it, we will just hit us with um, the setting spray. And again, you really don't need this. Just a little bit, although I would say that was refreshing. Um, so yeah, that is it, guys. So it is now 6.54. My goal was to end this at 6.45, so we've gone about nine minutes over. But um, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. So this is what we're working with, y'all. Mm. Bring it in close, back up a little bit. But yeah, I love it. So this is my go-to every day I'm home. I'm not trying to do a whole lot. I just want my face to look done. Um, Sephora, uh, I will continue to rave about this powder because I think it is everything and more in a compact. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and you've learned something. Um, if you have comments, questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, smooches.